what is going on traders and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here welcome i'm glad to have you now in this video i'm going to be going over my watch list for the trading week of july 11th 2022 let's get to it all right so let's start off with the catalyst for the week on wednesday we have the june cpi inflation data it's also the kickoff to another earnings season so that should be fun and on friday the retail sales report numbers come out all right with that let's go ahead and take a look at this week's earnings calendar all right so as you can see compared to last week quite a few earnings are scheduled and the ones that i'm going to be watching is pepsi delta taiwan semiconductors quite a few banks uh, united health group and progressive let's go ahead and get started with the watch list all right first up is going to be twitter ticker symbol twtr now after the market closed on friday News came out that Elon Musk was looking to terminate the deal of buying Twitter for $44 billion. Now, his reasoning was that the company didn't provide the data and the other metrics that he was looking for, so they were in breach of contract. But on the other side of that, Twitter's board already had agreed to sell Twitter to him for $44 billion. And then news came out a little later after that saying that Twitter's board is committed to closing the transaction on the price and terms agreed upon with Mr. Musk and plans to pursue legal action to enforce the merger agreement. Now, why Elon Musk decided that he wanna get out, get out of it, it seemed like he was leaning toward that for a while. And one of the reasons to me is probably this, that he lost a lot of money. This article is back from in May may 19th and it looks like he lost a lot of money since he offered to buy twitter for 44 billion dollars so who knows what this number is right now but let's go ahead and take a look at the chart all right so here i have twitter on the five minute chart i'm showing you this one so you can see the pre and the post market action that's these gray areas that are here now pre-market on friday twitter was pretty much flat and flat throughout the day but when that news came out that Elon was uh, trying to terminate the deal, you can see that's when it dropped from around $37 down to $33. And a little while later, that's when Twitter came out and said that they were going to fight him in court and force the sale. And it ran right back up to around $35. Now, if we zoom out to the weekly chart here, zoom in a little bit, you can see Twitter was as high is almost $80 back in February of 2021. It sold off quite a bit, and right now it's sitting at around, what, $36, but it did get as low as around $31. Now, if you see this really big green candle right here, this is the week of March 14th. This is the week where Elon bought a 5% stake in the company and didn't tell anybody. So that's why I ran up this high. And then he didn't report this to the SEC until April 4th, I think, or something like that. And when that news came out, it gapped up and got as high as almost around $55. Since then, it's been a lot of drama. He did come out and say that he wanted to put the sale on hold because they weren't giving him the data that he wanted. And it gapped all the way down. And right now, for the last two months or so, it's been chopping around around $35, okay? Now let's go ahead and look at the price levels for this upcoming week. All right, so here I have Twitter on the four hour chart. Now, one thing I'm gonna be watching. Now, since we have a pending court case coming up, now the longer that this is dragged out, it could possibly be a drag on the Twitter stock also to the downside, all right? So the bearish scenario on this one, if Twitter cannot get above $37 on Monday and it bounces off of it and gets rejected by it, I'm looking for Twitter to come down to around $34.50. If it can't hold that, then I'm looking for it to come down to around $33.40 or $0.50, cents, all right? Now, the, if I zoom all the way back out, if Twitter gets below $30, it could easily fall all the way down to around $20. And another thing you want to keep in mind, Elon Musk did agree to buy Twitter for $54.20 a share. So the longer this drags out, it's possible that he could lose a lot more money, okay? If the uh, if the court decides that he has to buy it, okay? Now the bear uh, the bullish scenario, 
if Twitter can get above $37.50 and get in this gap right here, I'm looking forward to test the top of the gap around $38.75. If we can get above that, then I'm looking forward to test around $39, okay? So let's keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. Up next is Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. Now here I have it pulled up on the five minute chart so I can show you what happened after the market closed on Friday. Now Tesla closed around $752. Now the same news that made Twitter drop actually made Tesla pop from $752 and got as high as almost $780 before closing around $770, all right? Now if I go out to the daily chart, and I zoom in a little bit right here. This green candle right here is April 4th. This is the day that it was announced that Elon had bought a 9.2% stake in Twitter, okay? But since then, it's been selling off. It had a nice pop right here, but overall it's been selling off and it's got as low as around $620 and it's chopped around since then, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this week's levels. All right, so this is the four hour chart. Zoom in a little bit right here. First, the bullish scenario. If Tesla can get above $782, the first level that I'm looking for to test is around $793. Now, of course, the psychological level of 800 is going to be tough to get through, but if it does, I'm looking for it to come all the way up to this gap right here around $845, $850 to the upside. All right. Now, the bearish scenario of Tesla cannot get above. $782. I'm looking for it to come down and test around $754. If it can't hold that, who knows where it'll go. We'll just go ahead and play that one by ear. So keep these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. All right, up next is Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. Now here I have it pulled up on a four hour chart. And last week we talked about this head and shoulder formation that I was looking to complete all the way down to $103 or so, so I can buy some calls for Amazon Prime Day uh, up to around $120, but that didn't happen. It decided it wanted to run without me and got as high as around $117. Now first, the bullish scenario. Uh, if Amazon decides it wants to run on Monday and Tuesday, I'm looking for it to test around $120, okay? But after that, I'm looking at it as a uh, buy the rumor, sell the news scenario, and I'm looking forward to start to sell off from that point all the way down to around $110, $108, okay? And on Friday, I did start scaling into my Amazon puts for this upcoming Friday, but let's see what happens, okay? All right, and the last one we're gonna be looking at is NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. Now here I have it pulled up on the four hour chart here, and this sell off right here from a couple of weeks ago is because some analysts felt that it's possible there could be a chip demand slowdown in the near future. And with that, a couple of analysts, one at um, Morgan Stanley and one at Bank of America, uh, reduced the price target for NVIDIA. So it went ahead and sold off because of that. Now this week, Taiwan Semiconductor is reporting earnings before uh, market opens on Thursday. But what I'm looking at is what's gonna happen before that. So first, the bullish scenario. Now see this level of $156 right here, that was prior support. I wanna see if Nvidia can hold this and it returns to support again and bounces off this. So the bullish scenario, if Nvidia can stay above $156, the first level that I'm looking for at the test is around $160. And if it can get above that, I'm looking for NVIDIA to test around $177 by the end of the week if uh, Taiwan Semiconductor reports good earnings, okay? Because NVIDIA can run $10 to $12 in one day. All right, so uh, the bearish scenario of NVIDIA falls below $156 and gets rejected by it. The first level that I'm looking for at the test is around $150.50. If it can't hold that, then I'm looking for it to come down and maybe hit as low as around $140, okay? So keep NVIDIA and these levels on your watch list and let's see what happens. All right, and that is the end of the video. If you found value, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. Here's wishing you a prosperous week of trading. And until next week, talk to you later.